What's up everybody, welcome back to another Rad and Dad channel video, or welcome if it's your first time, either way, very glad to have you. You saw the thumbnail, you should know, we're changing the end cap on this Fuel Moto exhaust, but we gotta roll the intro and talk about something else. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 Riding Down a YouTube channel. All right, so why are we going to change it? Well, one, for starters, I just can't leave stuff alone. <laughs> and it's been several months since I did anything with exhaust. And for those of you familiar with this build, know almost monthly I was changing the exhaust for a period of three to four months. So that's part of it, just something a little bit different. The second part is supposedly this makes the exhaust to the rider sound even a little bit more quiet because instead of directing some of it down to the ground and reverberating up, it shoots it straight back. Um, it also supposed to be, or also supposedly changes the tone a little bit different, more of like a can sound, and, uh, like instead of instead of like an open sound, if that makes sense. Hopefully you guys will hear it in the audio if it actually comes through from what I've been told. Um, and then that's kind of it. Uh, I asked for it as a Christmas present for something from the in-laws. They got it for me. Uh, they came in and they came in clutch and got it. So those of you unfamiliar with the Fuel Moto Jackpot Riot 2 into 1, um, this is obviously on my low rider S. It is obviously a 2 into 1. The end, as you can see, um, is not a complete, uh, you know, ground dump like some of them have, um, and it's obviously not a side. Although you can turn it uh, and really have it any side direction you want, it's just you'll see when we un install it or uninstall it and then install this. You can just turn it whatever direction you want. Um, but specifically for this one, uh, it comes down, and we are going to go ahead and take. There's just three bolts. Uh, that unbolt there, and then the whole back portion comes off. Then we're going to unbolt that portion from this, uh, and it should be should be pretty simple. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, also, something important to note if you're unfamiliar with this build, I do have a cam, um, so it is a stage two. So the audio profile is going to be a little different from your bike if you just have a stock uh, M8114 or a uh, 107. So here we go. Let's uh, bring you guys in closer. We'll start taking this one off. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never douse, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now you don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my f mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big box, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase it? Face it, I don't give up quick, I don't give up I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it I'll make it, I promise
All right, so the install is done. Uh, as you guys saw, pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. You basically just take those three bolts out of the outer canister, remove the whole middle insert from the muffler, unbolt the stock end cap, and then bolt this end cap back on. Um, it is more open than I just originally kind of in my mind was picturing. Um, you can definitely see the inner, uh, like the inner tube, the insert in there, a lot more pronounced and clear than you can with the stock. Um, I think this would be cool if it was even shallower, but then it would be, I think, a little bit even louder. Um, I don't know if I really could tell that much of a difference in the audio. Um, I don't know, playing it back to back, if I will hear something different. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I should put the stock one back on. Maybe if uh, I should have it turned out, uh, angled a little bit more or something. I don't know. There's a couple different options. Super easy and simple to do. Uh, something that you saw me do was put anti-seize on all of the bolts. I definitely would not do any Loctite on any of the exhaust setups. For those of you who are familiar with it, uh, exhaust uh, bolts, either internal or at the uh, the flange nuts or the springs or anything, that was that was hot. Um, any anywhere that exhaust uh, bolts or metal contacts itself within the exhaust system um, has a tendency to want to sort of heat weld itself together. Uh, so we don't put Loctite on there because then it will really weld itself together. So we put a little bit of anti-seize um, and then that shouldn't shouldn't have any issues. I've always used anti-seize on all of the bolts for exhaust hardware. Uh, and I've never had any issues trying to back themselves out or anything like that. So shouldn't have any issues here either. Let me, go, let me know what you guys thought of the install. Let me know if you heard a sound difference, if you think it was worth it or not. Um, it does, I do think it looks better personally. I definitely do think it looks better, um, but I don't know. Let me Let me know. Check out all the links in the description to see the full build on this Lowrider S. Out of view of the camera, my build on the Sportster as well in there. Uh, who knows what the next video will come. It's always, always something different at the Ride and Dad channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the Ride and Dad YouTube channel because why wouldn't you be? And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.